Hello guys, this is Webtech Noob from Wheel of Tech and uh, today I'm going to show you a few methods to uh, help you to loop through a lot of collection. Um, let's say you are having big arrays, big vectors, or you getting JSONs from uh, Najax calls, uh, or you have a text database and you wanted to, to loop through them, or you wanted to iterate through HTML big objects like tables, uh, tables rows or lists or anything like that. You are going to use for sure some uh, methods to uh, parse them, to process them. Um, there are a lot of methods to do that and um, some of them are um, uh, being good in terms of performance, some of them are not, are very uh, have uh, have cost, uh, costs uh, that um, affect our web performance, our application performance, so we have to be careful when uh, we are using them. Um, what I'm uh, telling here, uh, it's uh, everything comes from my experience when uh, developing web applications, so uh, it might be different uh, from your experience so please feel free to comment or bring, bring here your conclusions so um, uh, let's start okay uh, first of all I am going to declare a variable that holds a collection let's say my collection equals uh, okay let's bring some cards here BMW yeah Volvo, okay, what else? Ford, I have a Ford, a Focus, and, uh, and uh, okay, Reno, oh no, 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 Opel, okay. So we have a collection with four values, okay. To look through this collection, I'm going to write a few methods that I used, and um, some of them I use very rarely, some of them I use uh, every day when the, uh, when looping through collection. First of all is the most simple, let's say, method, method one, for, for, in, okay? It sounds like this, for, uh, var i in my, my collection dot length, length, loop, and when looping let's output console log, uh, m, m1 from method 1 my collection squares let's put here the index i squares let's put here the value which is my collection squares index okay closing the brackets this should output each and every value from our collection okay let's see if it works it doesn't work. Let's see what's what's happening here. Okay. 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 And then my collection dot land console log. Okay. Okay. What's happening here? Let's see. Oh, uh, being an in for we don't have to put length here. So actually, what we are doing, we're for each iteration, we are trying to process and see if e our index, which background increments it's still in our collection our collection not collection length so if it's still in our collection let's output its value and index okay this is our result it's working and uh, I am gonna at the end of uh, uh, the uh, method explanation I will, I will I will say which I use and which is good and which is not uh, from my point of view so uh, second method, let's say method two. Okay, this is uh, I, let's say classic, 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 classic four. Okay, and let's write it down. So I say four var e equals zero semicolon e less than my collection dot length i, I plus plus. Okay. Yeah, uh, let me tell you that this is the it, this is my first video with uh, background speech. Uh, my native language is Romanian, so I'm uh, Euro East European. So uh, sorry for the 
eventually mistakes i think we are we can uh, and understand each other but i will uh, for sure do some mistakes or uh, my accent is a bit weird but i uh, hopefully this will, will not um, disturb you so much so this is the second method let's copy the output and see if it's really working uh, here must be m2 from method 2 and the output should be the same okay we have the same output but the method differs uh, this is the most used method in history of looping through something i think if you ask me because uh, this was in every and each tutorial from 1998 uh, through uh, two few years ago uh, i will show you a bit tweaking uh, on this method which will make this method very very performant in this form like I uh, read it down here it's good but not uh, not really uh, and I will tell you why later third method and I will say method 3 it's jQuery each 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 okay uh, everyone knows this method let's say dollar dot each okay my collection comma uh, callback function function with two parameters which is one index second value yeah semicolon i will say the, sa the same output but a bit uh, modified this is method three as i described this is getting the index in index and this is getting without accessing the collection direct value because the function on the callback it gives us an uh, uh, index and the value okay this this should work let's say it is working okay about this method i use very very often this method uh, but not um, to loop through a specific collection i use it to loop through big elements big html objects uh, list HTML tables, rows, any kind of HTML which when um, I use this it really helps me to access their attributes, their uh, uh, classes, IDs or any uh, any other sub-childs, uh, sub-objects uh, 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 think about uh, table row uh, it gives me access to every um, uh, attribute uh, from uh, the current row every attribute from the call current row children's and so on so this is uh, the best method from uh, my point of view uh, to access big uh, data collection but big, big uh, static data collection like html objects uh, complex uh, collections uh, let's say like that uh, another good to point to this method is that it's a jQuery method and uh, jQuery has a very, very, very big community behind and uh, probably uh, um, it will get uh, API improvements with each version. So uh, if you write it down like this, uh, when you change your jQuery API, you may um, see improvement without doing nothing. So I recommend this method to loop to true collection another method and method for like say like that um, a method for okay a method for let's put it this one the classic for again and let's tweak it a bit and make it the best method when uh, talking about performance uh, we, uh, I, I was saying this is unperformant, uh, this is very costly because for each iteration our engine, our thread process uh, needs to calculate our collection length with this, uh, with uh, written like that, uh, it, uh, for each iteration it will say i less than and uh, this it, it must calculate this value every and each time and this takes a very long time when uh, having big data collection like let's say 10,000 rows JSONs it, it will uh, count every row to find out the length of the entire collection so let's take this take from here and and put it here and say like that var i equals zero and another variable size equals my collection dot length okay 
and when comparing in the iteration expression let's say a less than size size okay now let's say method 4 okay method 4 and this should work now yes it's working uh, from my point of view this is the very best method i every uh, i ever used and i recommend you to use it in this uh, format because it actually catches the length of collection and helps you to don't process uh, every time the length of uh, your array or any kind of object you are passing through so yes recommend record recommend, recommend anyway recommend this one okay this is very good i recommend this this is very uh, performance boosty uh, you will actually see this performance this boost in performance uh, when you use big collection if you have a an uh, regular website uh, and you're actually crossing through uh, looping through small collection uh, you, you will probably uh, wouldn't see any any kind of improvements to your speed to your loading or um, performance but uh, when you work when you have enterprise application uh, it's uh, and and a very uh, a lot of clients that connects uh, in the same time through your application you will see uh, how this improves in uh, boost in performance boost then as i told you you can use these methods in the most of the programming languages this, this is not javascript uh, this is programming this is coding this is developing this is a global syntax to say like this now another method is method five okay method five uh, I will write, write it down. This is a good method. It's a new one I used in a very uh, few places, but I think uh, it um, has good results. It sounds like this. I will declare a variable uh, m5 size equals my collection dot length. Okay, this variable holds the length, the total length of my elements from the collection, and I will say like this for var i equals my m5 size i decrement okay this is somehow very performant let me put the same output here okay this is m5 let's see if it really works it works this is very very performant why first of all we are catching the size of our collection and second we are decrementing be uh, and, and and not incrementing and this uh, it has been uh, seen like an um, improvement because uh, the goal of decrementing is getting to the zero value zero which has a special address in memory which is which is very easy to compare it's, it is a, a simple goal. It is more indexed than uh, a total length comparable values. So, uh, from my point of view, this is a recommend, recommendable uh, method. I, rec I recommend this one. Okay, uh, test it and uh, you will see that it's quite uh, fast. Uh, okay, what else? what else what else and um, i will show you a lot uh, another method that i actually don't use but i saw uh, to uh, someone website and i think it's actually quite okay it's a while so let's say like this uh, m6 size i use different variables because um, uh, for the sake of the drawing here, for the sake of the explanation methods, let's say like this while while m6 size decrementing. Okay. Um, same output. Okay. m6 
and here m6 okay let's see if it really works seems like it's working okay uh, if you look to the six, six method you will see that it actually has one single variable it seems only by reading it very performant okay in every method uh, uh, that i wrote from the one to the five we have a lot of variables expression comparisons and and uh, stuff like that in the uh, last one we have a single variable which decrements through uh, the values to the uh, through the records of the collection and this seems very very simple i actually didn't uh, didn't compare the performance in terms of milliseconds and uh, response time but uh, for me it seems very very fast and it's working i will use it and uh, come back with some more uh, opinion about it uh, if you have uh, experience with uh, this kind of methods please feel free to comment and have ha uh, and bring your experience here and share with us uh, I, I will I will uh, recommend I rec this one two so um, okay we have six methods to look through collections through uh, give uh, uh, time to exp uh, to see which is the best and which is not um, uh, feel free to comment feel free to bring your experience uh, if you have more methods feel free to to share with us uh, for now uh, this is what I've experienced in my application so if, if, if I've made mistakes please feel free to correct me uh, I hope that this will help you in your um, future projects so if you like please share and subscribe and thanks for watching